So we've got a lot of wins with grip and grip establishment. The next fundamental to stack upon is going towards trigger control. Trigger control, of course, is you know, break the shot uh, without moving the muzzle. Very simple to understand, extraordinarily difficult to master. But before we get to um, a lot of trigger control drills, what I find now best practices is, particularly after doing some of this grip and grip establishment, is just work on trigger timing. Timing of putting the finger on the trigger, safety-wise and, and some performance-wise, and also just prepping the trigger. So just, just getting the, the finger on that trigger and, and prepping it just shy of full extension when the muzzle is reasonably aligned on target. Actually, a lot of times it's perfectly aligned on target before full extension, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna use the cert pistol. We're gonna take, uh, this is our 115C, all right? This is an awesome new model. It's functional features of a Glock 19. And I take out this tool in the rear. I just used, uh, the magazine to kind of pry it out. It's in there pretty good. We want it to be pretty snug in there. And I take this switch and I move this switch forward, right? There's a switch right here. I just pop that puppy forward, okay? And I'll just go ahead and put this tool back for right now. All right, boom, boom, boom. Okay, now what I just did, I turned on the take up laser, okay? So when I prep the trigger, when I prep the trigger, that is like take the slack out of the trigger, boom, I get the lower red laser on, all right? Okay, so you can uh, do that in your class, or you know, if you have a class break, you can just go by with a pen or that tool and just blah, 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 flip them all forward, turn them all on. If you've got performers, um, you know, the more economical models, the lower red laser is on, and the upper red laser is a shot indicating laser, okay? So anyhow, all we're gonna do, we're gonna use this technology to understand when they're prepping the trigger and also use it a bit, even though that's out of sight picture, the general alignment of the muzzle as we, as we prep, okay? So I'm gonna turn around and this is gonna demo this drill. So essentially what we're gonna tell and demo, demo this yourself first, is we're gonna take this target here and we say, okay, go from this, you know, do the drill we've been doing, but when the muzzle, <laughs> seems aligned or, or just short of full extension, maybe you can see our 90% or 80% you know, out there, start putting your finger on the trigger. Okay, we haven't done it yet probably, but start doing it now. So, so they're gonna extend out, as they extend out from their grip, finger goes on trigger and they prep. And they're gonna prep just prior to that full extension. So if I demo that here, they're gonna extend out. It's right about here, the you know, finger comes on, you prep, and then they come out and lock it down, all right? Do not have them break at this point, just have them prep the trigger. Let's take some serious baby steps here because we want to get them acclimated at that timing of putting the, fi uh, the finger on the trigger, okay? So common deficiency, common deficiency, if say you go right into breaking a shot, is if they come out and they'll Christmas it right away, all right? It'll be that characteristic slap, Christmas, red, green, right away, slap the trigger, we all, kind of know this issue, milking the gun, all that, all right? Um, they, just, they just push right through the wall and hit it. They're just not that prep and break. Not good optimized mechanics, all right? Another deficiency, um, less common, but almost worse is if they come on too early, all right? So they come on way too early, not ready to destroy in front of their feet and everything. And, um, you know, just, uh, just it's a safety issue at that point coming on that early. So there's a Goldilocks zone. I'm not fully extended and I get the finger on the trigger and not too early, but we extend, prep out right this position, prep, can that red laser's on, and then they come back, finger off trigger. Just do that drill, okay? And now, you know, like it's been five minutes just doing that drill of a good prep and then coming back. One quick note on this with our newer models, you can adjust when the take up laser comes on. Um, if it's coming on a little bit late, there's this uh, hole right here. With our 110 series, um, the prep will only come on when you fully prep. Okay, when you, when you, it's, it's mechanical within the unit. This one is adjustable, so um, if you need to adjust, you can play with when this one comes on, when the, when the trigger prep comes on with respect to the trigger pull meaning you can make it sensitive so it actually will come on at first touch for some safety drills beyond the scope here. Um, but, but just wanna let you know that you can adjust when that, when that comes on, okay? All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's march forward here to the next phase on this to prep, break, reset.